Hi everyone, welcome back. So again, another wonky ending, sorry about that. Apparently time was going by a lot faster than I realized and we came to an end of video time and I didn't realize that. So here I am drying and talking and not realizing that um, the video was ending until I saw my camera was shut off. So sorry about that. Um, hopefully the <laughs> new equipment will be coming soon and um, we won't have to deal with that anymore. So I haven't done anything else. We ended up where I was drying these. Um, so this is our finished product. So we're ready to put those on the bottle. So I'm going to gather those up and move the um, other stuff out of the way. paint out of the way. Okay. Now, it really is not, um, you, might, you guys might not be able to see me putting this on because I'm going to need the bottle standing up to do it so I can see it to make sure I get it on right. But, um, again, I really would rather have a different medium to apply stuff to the bottle. But I don't have anything right now. So I am using my hot glue gun. But there is special medium made for adhering metal and things when you're doing steampunk. And um, I don't know what the name of it is. If I remember, I will look it up and maybe do some links in the description box. Um, to show you guys what I'm talking about and where you can get it. I need to get some myself. But, um, like I said, I hadn't planned on doing steampunk, so I wasn't really prepared with all of the product that I might need, so I do apologize for that. So I'm just going to take these and just start applying them, and I'll show you um, once I get it on. Um, I'm going to just put some glue in the center of the flower first and start with that. And I am going to keep it here where I can see so I don't burn myself because you guys know how good I am at that. But all I did was I put glue behind the center of the flower right there and I just pushed it on. I brought the point all the way up to the top here and then it hangs down here. And I'm just going to um, glue the tips down now. And again, I don't like the hot glue too because it does leave those strings all over. And then you got to go back and try to make sure you get all of those. So, and my pieces will overlap each other a little bit, and that's okay. Actually, you know what I did? I went up higher than I intended, didn't I? Because I was going to go, I measured them for lower. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess I really only need two since I'm up higher than I initially planned on going. But that's fine, you know, go with the flow, see what happens. I told you, the stuff evolves as I go. And that's one reason right there <laughs> that it does because by the time I get to the adhering part, I, you know, forgot what I was going to do. No big deal. And that's probably my son calling. Let me look and see. Oh, nope, it's not. Um, I will have to call them back, though. I had a meeting yesterday with the new employment specialist helping my son to get a job. Um, for those of you that don't know, my son does have Asperger's. Um, it's a very mild form of autism. And uh, he is in the process of looking for a regular job. He's participated in a couple different programs that are especially for 
um, those with special needs. But um, we just kind of feel like he's ready now to move forward and enter the job force. And um, you know what? I'm going to take this off. You know why I'm going to take this off? It's not lined up the way that I want it. I want the flower part in the front, not on the side. I don't know why I even did it like that. I guess that's one of the good things about hot glue is that it's not really too hard to just take it right off. But then on the other hand, that's the bad part about it because it does come right off. But, you know, keep in mind too, I didn't put a lot of glue down on this either. And hopefully this isn't going to mess up my bottle. But if it does, I could just put more black gesso on. But I wanted, and actually maybe I'll just put it down lower like I was going to in the first place so that um, I can use the three. And these two are stuck together, but I'm just going to take it apart. All right, so let's start this again. Peel those little pieces of glue off. Boy, it's a good thing this stuff is very forgiving because um, it's not what I wanted to. And I think I was going to put it down here on the... I was going to put it down here, which is why I did three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do it that way now. Yeah, I like that much better there. Okay. And remember, I'm going to put metal on top of this, so this is not um, what we're going to end up with. In the end, just gonna get those points down again, and I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. I apologize for that, but I will show you once I get one down what I'm doing. And I am manipulating the points and putting them where I want them to be. Pulling all the glue strings off, trying to anyway. Well, anyway, see, this is what I've done. I've just put it right here. And see, I've got it down a little bit lower, which was what I had first intended. All right, now where do I want this? Just kind of placing it on here to figure out where I want them to go so that I can use all three. Okay. Okay, and before I put the points down on this one, I'm going to put the next one on just so that I can make sure I have everything where I want it before I glue it down. Let's see how I need to manipulate it to uh, lay right. I guess, and the good thing about these doilies is that they stretch a little bit, so you can um, manipulate them a little bit more. Even once you have them applied, you can still manipulate them. And actually, my center one is a little bit lower than the other two, but that's okay, because that's my focal point. And I don't want... See how this is laying down and it's going to like cover here. I don't want it there. So I'm going to manipulate it a little bit up higher so that it's not covering my flower in the front. My The one I care about the most is this one right here in the front. So I want to make sure that one looks the way that I want it to be. I like the fact that I can um, shape these the way... I want them to be. I 
again it doesn't have to be perfect I am struggling a little bit today with that perfectionism and I have to I have to ignore it because I'll drive myself nuts if I don't Just kind of placing it where I want it, gluing it down once I get it where I like it. Or in some cases can tolerate it. <laughs> Just being real. <laughs> Just adding glue here and there fighting with the strings <laughs> I am gluing it down a little bit more now that I'm you know getting it where I want it I'm stretching out the doily like right here I stretched it out a little bit so I could have it where I want it So this is what it looks like right now. Like I said, it's not perfect. I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> I'm going to make myself be okay with it. I told you guys, I'm very much uh, inclined to want things to be symmetrical. But um, that's not what this is about. So I'm trying to let go of that and uh, be okay with things uh, being a little what I would call wonky. Trying to get rid of those glue strings still. All right. Okay, I'm not going to worry about them a whole lot because I'm going to do some more gluing so um, there will be more. Okay. I do like the way those doilies came out though. Now that you know they're dry and they're on the bottle, I'm I'm really liking that multicolored metallic kind of effect that it gave it. So I think the next thing that I'm going to do is figure out what I want to put on top. And I kind of like I've got this dimensional um, silver like rosebud and I'm really thinking I might want to put that right there in the center of that one for um, for the front so I am going to go ahead and I will tone that silver down I'll put some um, paint on it or something to um, change that a little bit it's just a little too shiny silver for me for this but I do like it on there and I have glued that on all right so we've committed to that and what do we want to put on the other ones keeping in mind we're going to have that chain hanging down in the back which it kind of worked out the way those are laying because the chain will come right down here where there is no flower so that's good so let's see I've got some of these pieces these little got some of these let's see what these look like I might do some layers these are like a little floral filigree so I might put put one putting one on one flower I might put a different style on the next one. What else do I have? It's a butterfly. I need something fairly small because they are.
closer together. And I want to do some layering. So I don't want to use the little one yet. Do I want to use one of these? No, they're kind of close together for that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put one of these on top. Actually, I have this smaller one. Do I want to just put a smaller one on it? I could. I'll just put this smaller one on there. That way it'll just be different. And that way they're not so close together. Because see, they're kind of, with this one here and then that one there, if I used a big one, they'd be really close together. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on top of that bigger one. So I'll give that some dimension. Can you guys see that? Right here. I'll show it to you from the side. And you can see the dimension on there. Alright, and then what else do I have that I could put in the center of the other one? Hmm. I think I want to put the same one. I might have some other ones in my box. Let me look. Let me pull out everything that I got. Actually, you know what? Where, didn't I pull out some of those buttons that actually go in the center? Hold on a second. Although, nope, that's not going to work because that flower is too big. Never mind. Never mind. Forget that thought, even though you don't know what I was talking about. Guys, I thought I had everything out I was going to need, but nope. Hmm. Well, maybe I should have used the bigger flower there so I had something to put in the center of it, huh? what I want you guys maybe we'll just move on from that for now and get back to it after hmm. well let's see I could put a let's see I could put a little gear in the center but um, I'm just gonna leave it be for now and uh, see what else we can put on here. Okay, let's see. Do I want to put... I'm looking for my leaves. I thought I had some leaves out. I was thinking about putting those, maybe I was looking at them in the box. This is the way it is sometimes, you guys. Sometimes my mind is just all over the place with what I want to do, especially when I'm just first formulating what I'm doing. And 
Now I can't find the leaves. We're crying out loud. Apparently I need a different plan for my metal storage because um, it's hard for me to see in the box. There's some leaves. Let's see what those look like. I found these brads that might work um, as a center for that flower. If I can get it out of the bag. Yep, it will. But I gotta break off the um, I gotta break off the brad part because I need my little players. See, I've got this. Come on. There we go. Put some glue on there. Attach that without burning myself. It's a little bit big, but I think I think it'll work. All right. Of course, I got a big old glue string on there now. All right. Now, I want to do something to where I don't have all that color showing in the center. So I'm wondering if I put some leaves on here, if that would help hide. Yeah, it would. It help hide that. So I just put a leaf in that rose there. And obviously that's not the right kind of leaf for a rose, but we're not going to worry about that. Because we're just applying metal right now. bronze colored ones which it really doesn't matter what color they are because like I said I'm going to go over this stuff anyway with what I don't know yet but <laughs> I will be going over it with something you can be sure um, that little flower is going to need something a little bit smaller and again I will show you guys what I've done once I get it all on there So I've just applied leaves around the flowers. Okay. I hope I'm not spinning that too fast. I forget sometimes that I need to watch that. Okay. Okay. 